Hey everybody, it's Card Collecting Duo, back with another video. And today we're going to be doing a card return PSA reveal. Got this box back. It's a very big box. I actually, it's not how I remember it coming. Uh, so I opened it, um, but then when I realized it was from PSA, I didn't open it anymore. Uh, I'm not used to them coming in like um, a box inside of a box. Usually it's just one that's all taped up, and this is in, this was inside there like this. So, taking it out now. We're gonna go through them. This is um, a, um, a modern, ultra modern order um, bulk. It's twenty cards, and I sent it in February of two thousand twenty-one, and got it back just this week, April, mid-April, earlier this week uh, of two thousand twenty-two. So about 14 months. Over a year. Yeah, over a year. That's what it's taking. It was, uh, you know, I wish I'd sent in more at the time because these were $15 a card. Um, but that's what we sent. That's what we did. And uh, just didn't have enough time to open it. We we're kind of busy with work. Uh, and Henry was busy with school this week. So uh, this time we're opening it. It's now Sunday. And we're going to see what we get. Um, so this is a blind reveal. Right? We don't know what it is. We don't even really remember what the cards are. I know some of them because in the past I had looked at the list, but I didn't see the grades. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of these videos of people getting their cards back after more than a year or so. And sometimes they get like a lot of tens or all tens. And sometimes they get hardly any. So I really don't know what to expect. I mean, I guess it depends. It depends on the grader and the actual cards, what you're choosing. So let's see how they, which way it's like this. Okay, so. All right, so here we are. Some of these may have been a mistake to send in, we'll see. Some of them may have turned out well, um, but we'll see. All right. So this will be blind reveal again. So first we have uh, two. I think this is uh, a two attacker by Loa rookie um, from Mosaic. Just a base. So this is going to get nine. Ugh. nine. Not off to a good start, but <laughs> all for the best. All right, now. Hopefully, it could be better with uh, Tyree Hill. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, he'll get a lot better. Now next we have. Uh, 2019 uh, Josh Allen uh, Silver. So this is a silver. So it's a second year, not a rookie. And that's going to get a nine. Ugh. All right. These look good, though. I don't, I don't know. Uh, next, we have a... Uh, I'm not sure why I sent this one. And this is, a, this is a, a Justin Herbert rookie select, but it's from Chronicles. So 10 will have good value, 9 not really, and it's going to be a 10. All right, so there we go. There's our first 10 on the Justin Herbert uh, Chronicles uh, Chronicles Draft Picks rookie, no less. Next one is also Draft Picks. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure why I sent in so many of these uh, Draft Picks, Chronicles Draft Picks, but nevertheless, this is the, um, the XR Red, and that's going to get a 9. So three nines and only one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we'll see. Uh, now we have the Tatis. Uh, this is not a chrome. This is just the regular from Series 2. Really helping this one as well. Yeah, that's going to get a nine. Also, uh, it's rough here. A lot of these were sent in, I'm sure. I'm sure the pop count is very high. Oh, now we're getting to, we're getting to the Luka. So we sent in uh, a few. I think there's three Luka Doncic rookies. Um, they're from Chronicles though. We didn't, this is, okay. So this is a 2018, uh, Chronicles, not Chronicles draft picks, just Chronicles, Luca Doncic playoff. This is when we pulled in a video on this channel. Um, we opened a box of chronic, uh, hanger box of Chronicles, uh, like about a year ago, I guess, or slightly before I sent this in and hoping to pull a Luca and, uh, and pulled one. And this is going to be eight, eight. Oh, why is that an eight? A rough grader here. This looked fine. This is straight straight out of the pack and into um, you know, get then it got sleeved up. Gets an eight. That's not very good. So, so far, not so good. 
Yeah, I'll put that in over here. Try not to, so we don't have to look at it as much. Get, get blocked by the stack of nines. Next we have, this could be a good card. This is a 2020 Mosaic Brady Silver MVPs. That's going to get a 10. That's good. All right, there you go. So that'll have some good value there. Yeah. Happy, if we're going to get a 10, I'm happy to have that one get a 10. Next, we have uh, SGA Chronicles. I don't remember, I'm not sure why I sent this one in. This may not have been a good one. This is not a great one to send in, but I did. That's going to get a 10 also. That's good. He's doing well. So that's an SGA he rookie. Well here, I think. Yeah, we, we, we have a regular SGA rookie from Hoops. I don't know if we sent it in. Here we have another Luca. Yeah. This is also from Chronicles. This is a Luca rookie. Yeah, somebody, um, elite. Somebody Chronicles. Yeah. And that's going to get a 10. All right, that's good. So that's nice. And I got a, a PSA uh, gem mint 10 on one of the Luca rookies. And here's the third. This is um, the Panini. The Chronicles Panini version of Luca Rookie also, 2018. That's going to get 10. There we go. We're on a good streak here. Uh, next we have a Michael Porter Jr. from Prism. He's been in here. I know. Well, a, a year ago there was such promise for him. This was a really hot card. This was selling for like a lot, even raw, like I don't know, a lot. And that's going to get a 9. Yeah. And then we have a Kobe White... Um, Mosaic Silver. He was hot when he was a rookie. Then he's been kind of off. I think he's had some injuries, and uh, he played some this year. He had some good games at the end of the season. Uh, but that's this is a silver. That's going to get a ten. That's nice. There. Now we have a Trey Young rookie. This is from Hoops, 2018. Just a regular base. I don't know. I'm looking at it now. This this has got to be an off center type thing. That, that can't be good. A nine. All right, I'll take. That's not bad for yeah. lower statement than that card. Yeah, I'll take a nine on that. Most of these nines, I'm happy with getting a nine on on most of these. You know, it's you got to go in there expecting that you're not always going to get a ten. So we'll take the nines. And this is a, a John Morant 2019 Chronicles, uh, not from not draft pick, just a Chronicles John Morant rookie, which is going to get ten. That's good. Oh, here we have another Michael Porter Jr. That is another Chronicle. So oh, I sent in so many Chronicles. I don't remember even sending these. Um, looks yellow, but I guess it's not a gold. It's just a regular. That's going to get a nine. Hopefully he comes back. Nuggets definitely need him, right? Yeah, I think they're down three to zero. Yeah, they're not doing, doing so. Here we have uh, a, a DeAndre Hunter um prism rookie he hasn't he hasn't turned out so well but there's still hope for him right yeah, I think he's... get a 10 on the deandre hunter rookie i remember when we pulled this right you were happy with that one yeah. did you go to duke or deandre hunter no uh there's someone else on the hawks that went to duke maybe that cam, was reddish. cam reddish yeah he got traded he's no the longer league, on there so. next we have a tops chrome eloy uh, Eloy Jimenez, uh, rookie, that's going to get 10. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. On the top's chrome, Eloy Jimenez. Then, now we got a, this is from 2020 Baseball's, uh, uh, Finest Archives. Oh, flashback, did I reveal it there? I didn't see it. Um, this is a, a 2020, um, Baseball's Finest Flashbacks. So this is a nice card. This is a nice set uh, that I got. Uh, it looks like it might be a little off center. So we'll see. It's a trout. It's going to get. Oh, a 10. Oh, very happy with that one. This is, I think, maybe the only card I sent in from the baseball's finest, from the finest flashbacks. This is from like one of the 90s sets flashback goes. That's a nice one on the trout. Uh, All star. Next, getting towards the end here. A little stuck. There's two left. Uh, three. We have the Luis Robert Tops Chrome. I'm sure this was very heavily sent in uh, and has a high pop count by now, but this oh, is going to... Well. 10. That's right. nice. Uh, he started off hot this year, so uh, that's a nice card to have. The Tops Chrome Luis Robert. I think this one's the last one. 
Uh, last one. Yeah, this is... Uh, this, no. Why is it so thick? Yeah. I don't think like that. Uh, this is... Oh, uh, yeah. They put it in like a thicker thing. I guess because the card's a little thicker. It has like a thicker edge. This, this card here. This is... Um, uh, a obsidian. I think that's what we got it on uh, CB Lamb RPA. Yeah, we did a hobby box of uh, obsidian... Uh, draft picks and we got some really nice cards. I don't that that box only had like five cards in it I think right yeah or ten cards uh, This is this is an orange chase young rookie and that's gonna get oh nice Ten. So this one I doubt the pop count is that high on yeah, I think he had a season ending injury this year Yeah, but he still could could be uh, good. So this is a nice card. This is this is probably the lowest pop of any of the ones we sent in All right, so there we go. That's this one. Um, we do have, I do have uh, two other orders out with PSA, both uh, economy orders, uh, smaller card orders, which hopefully we'll be back soon. So we wound up with, let's see, with we have uh, 12, 10, um, 7, 9s, and 1, 8. Poor Luca. That's pretty good. We'll take it, right? Yeah. Uh, very happy with these, especially this one um, and this trout. And the Brady. Oh, yeah. I think the highlights are going to be that one. The um, the Chase Young, the trout, and where'd it go? The, uh, maybe the Brady Silver. Got to take care of these slabs. All right. So there you go. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And we'll be back again with another video. Bye. Bye.